Um, I jumped one of these tires earlier. I want to see if I can do it again. What I did was I stopped right on top of the tire like this. And then it kind of, yep. And then you go forward. Oh, yeah. It's like a little mini miniature launching pad. What's up, zombie slayers? This is kj 4 e and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play Hype Train! Last video, we had a 212 Game Stage Horde Night. It was pretty interesting. We didn't see anything too crazy, but we saw some pretty cool stuff. All right, today we are going on a gun hunt. We need guns. I do not want to be facing the Day 28 Horde without guns. I'm kind of worried about radiated zombies and cops and, and ferals and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, stuff the crossbow. Crossbow's pretty good, but, you know, I don't know if it's going to be able to handle that stuff. You know what? I didn't even realize I didn't have a lot of gas. Oh, crap. Well, what we're going to do today is we are going to... First thing we're going to do is go get our treasure that we uh, found last episode. Um, after that, I am going to uh, uh, just hit all the traders. And then after that, we're going to be looking for gun safes, all right? So I will see you at the treasure. Wow, I've got, like, almost no gas in my base. Like, I had, like, maybe 700 units of gas, which... Uh, really kind of sucks uh i i'm pretty sure i have a lot more gas um back in my first base i have not completely switched over yet so i need to move everything from that first base into my new base that's for damn sure um ooh, we got a bag oh we got one of these guys all right let's get that let's kill this guy there you go right in your face how do you like that machete to your face bro no, you don't like that very much do you well tough tough that's what you're gonna get because you're a zombie, and I kill zombies. Um, all right, not much on them, but that's okay. Uh, did I loot that? Yes, I did. Okay. So, yeah, so I got to get some gas. I got to look for a couple things uh, in the town. I want to look for one of those oil refineries, because if I can find one, that's going to be all the gas I'll ever need. Although, I, I have not seen one. I'm getting a little worried that um, I might not have one in my town. So, that'll be kind of a bummer, but um, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I'm actually going to be streaming tonight. I'm off tomorrow. This doesn't affect you guys at all because this this doesn't go up till Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't even know if I'm ahead or not. I, I know it doesn't go up till at least Wednesday. So uh, by the time this goes, I would have already streamed. But I am going to be off Wednesday, so I'm going to stream Tuesday night. So uh, maybe I'll do... Actually, I definitely will do some grinding on this world. Um, and the reason for that is because Pam is not going to be around tonight. Pam runs my servers for me. And she's not going to be around tonight. So I am going to just do single player. That will work. Okay. All right, this fatty's gonna he either sees me now or he's gonna see me. So let's go ahead and knock him in the face a couple times and take his stinking head off, or not. What I like to do with these, uh, with these, and this really doesn't mean a damn thing, uh, but what I like to do with these, with these, uh, these treasures, is I like to kind of get as close to the middle as I can. Although I, I will admit, it, it, I don't think it makes any difference. But um, we're gonna be digging this. Oh, look at that, getting some levels. Cool, I love it. Now. One of the things that sucks about digging a hole like this is if a zombie jumps in the hole with you, it's going to hurt, you know? So that kind of blows, but, um, you know, what we got to do is got to do. Let's see if we can find this treasure. And there we go. Man, it's pretty deep there. Whenever it's on one of these angles, I never quite know how deep it's going to be. <clears throat> All right, so we just completed the quest. We got almost 6,000 tokens, 2 diamonds, 15, 15 silver. Well, yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good chest right there. Not, not a fantastic chest, but a pretty freaking good chest. All right, let's look at where the closest trader is. Well, it's my favorite trader. So uh, now, ta now, guys, it is time to do some tradering, trader things. So I will see you at the first trader. All right, guys, change of plans. Ooh, that's cool. Huh. Change of plans, we got an airdrop. <clears throat> so we're going to get the airdrop first. Who knows, there might be something. Oh, look at this. Did I know about this town? Is that my town? That's not my town, is it? Oh, we got a new town over there, people, and that looks like a hell of a town. It's got at least three of the four high rises, and it, wow, that looks like a really interesting town. Might have to go check that out at some point. All right, so let's kill this fool. Boy, wait for our airdrop to come down. Oh, don't care about that. All right, come on down, buddy. Come on, man. Come on now. Yeah, man, this thing couldn't have been any closer to me, right? I mean, am I right? All right, so come on. Come on. We do have some jars on us. We're going to put these in here just to make some room. Uh, by the way, I brought 715 jars and a bunch of bottled water. I also have a cooking pot because you guys said I should uh, I should actually make water while I'm there. So I might do that as well. Um, no, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, the, honestly, the thing I like about this most is the first aid kits. And it's not bad. How much does it sell for? Not that I would sell them, but 
Yeah, that, that ain't, no way. That ain't worth the dukes. All right, so we got another town over there. Uh, we should probably mark that town because I'm actually really going to want to uh, get to this town at some point. Uh, what do I want to use for towns? Eh, there we go. Town. Oop, I must have hit my caps lock because I wanted that to be capital. And I was... Tuan? Town. I really think I have dyslexia. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That thing's marked. Alright, let's get to the trader. Let's do our thing. Um, I jumped one of these tires earlier. I want to see if I can do it again. What I did was I stopped right on top of the tire. Like this. And then it kind of... Yep. And then you go forward. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's like a little mini miniature launching pad. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Now, we are on a major gun hunt right now. So that's pretty much going to be the thing we're looking for. Does his cooking thing work? It does. That is nice. Um, so let's put that in there. And let's go ahead and make some water. I'm not going to make too much water. I'm, I'm under the assumption he's only going to buy three stacks of water at a time. So because of that, I do not want to make too much water. Although I left my... Um, I left my... Um, murky... Whoa! Murky water in here. So people were asking me, oh, Cage, why don't you just sell the murky water? And I thought, well, maybe that might be a good idea. Unfortunately, the murky water does not sell for anything. All right, I'll take as much as I can. And we're going to close the door behind us. Someone said, someone said, don't leave the doors open because the, the guys up here can get killed. I don't think they can. I think everything in here is protected, although I don't know for sure. Um, but I've never, like, gone out of my way to close the doors. And it's never been an issue before. Um, okay, so there's the water. The, why can't I make the bottled water? Because Oh, because that's snowball bottled, bottled water. And I'm not going to make too much of this. Let's just make 30. A couple stacks. And that will let me know if uh, how many stacks of water he'll buy. Again, um, I'm assuming he's going to buy three stacks and, and then be done with the water. And they only stack up to 15. So, all right. Let's sell the other stuff, Your though, so we can make some room here. here. Sell some silver nuggets. Barter is 70. Wow. I told someone today that my bartering was 150, but yeah, it's a little bit higher than I thought. Did I learn these? No, I didn't. So that is not going to be sold. Sell, sell, sell. Um, what else did I want to sell? I'm going to keep that stuff. Oh, yeah, I want to sell this crossbow. Um, that looks pretty good. We wasted a lot of room digging stuff yeah, up and everything. Um... All right, so let's go back and get the rest of this stuff and do some more selling. I do have some money on me, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna throw some of this stuff out. Actually, like I don't, I don't need like a couple of this or a couple of that. This is all a waste of space. Okay, now let's see what we got here. All right, so we gotta take this, 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 this. this. I'm selling all most of this stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So we have three full stacks. We have three full stacks of water. Um, as soon as this one's made another full stack, we'll be able to sell. If we could sell more than three full stacks of water, then that blows my theory out of the, no pun intended, exactly, God, water. Alright, so we're going to sell the hoe, the shovel, the other hoe. Okay. Alright, so we're up to 15,000 dukes. That is nice. Uh, how much do you buy for all those? Uh, okay, so we're going to sell about 100 of this at a time. There we go. And what else? Well, let's learn this before we accidentally sell it, right? Those uh, those slugs are really, really strong, by the way. Um, you definitely want to use those slugs. All right, so, guys, now let's test out the water theory. We should have enough room. Everything should be good. We're going to test out the water theory. Um, and this is it, man. This is We're going to know now how it's going to work. You guys probably already know how it's going to work, but I'm going to... I'm gonna test that anyway. I don't. I'm not selling that. So, all right. Everything else in that in that bike is staying there. Um, I brought the steel in the um in the forge iron basically because I uh, I forgot I had it on me. <laughs> I didn't feel like going back into my base to put it away. Okay. Well, water. Okay. Uh, full stack, please. Water. Two. Three. Four. There you go. That's why you can't sell water. Now, the jars, on the other hand, while a, wa a stack of water is only 20? Oh, 20 for one. Okay. Yeah, three. Oh, well, a stack of water is only 310. A stack of glass is 2,000. I'm going to sell these 100 at a time. 
Yeah, I might dedicate one forge full time to just making jars from now on. Look at that, guys. We went over 20,000 dukes. Check it out. Rolling it now, people. Okay. All right. So I think that's just about everything. We'll sell these as well. And I think that's everything we planned to sell. All right. Let's see what this clown's got for us. All right. So what were we looking for for resources? Honestly, nothing much. I don't think. Not really. I mean, oil shale might not be that bad. We could turn it into uh, gas. Uh, this stuff I don't really care about. Clothing. Iron gloves. Meh. Cloth armor. Don't care. I sold you all that stuff. Weapons. Now this is... Oh, here we go. Shotgun. Now it's a pretty crappy shotgun, but I don't think that matters. I think we're going to buy all the weapons we can possibly afford. Um, let me see what else he's got, though. Just to see. Okay, he's got nothing else there. Let's go through. Uh, do I have these? I have that. I think I might have sold him these, actually. Alright. Decoration... Science, here's your water, gunpowder, a bunch of tools I already sold you, that's everything. Uh, secret stash, wow. So he's only got one thing that, oh, a compound bow schematic. Yeah. Yeah, we'll buy that. Uh, how about masonry? I already know it. I probably sold him it. Alright, so that's it. Um, he's got one gun that I want. Maybe, maybe more. We'll see. Ghost, we just spent a lot of our money, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And the cool thing about this is um, uh, the, the stock and the barrel are pretty good, which is what we really wanted because um, these two items, like I have these back at base. Plus, you can get those off, uh, you can get those off um, sawed off shotguns as well. All right, so we've got a thousand left. Uh, I don't see anything else. I mean, the sawed off shotgun might not be terrible. But really, the only thing I'm getting off it that I care about is this. Um, ooh, actually, what, do you, what exactly do you need for the shotgun? Oh, I said I was going to talk about where I put my points at the end of last episode, too. So that is pretty easy. I put another point in science, I think. Uh, I don't know if I did it on camera or not, but science is seven. And I went with range traps for the shotgun turret and melee traps for the blade trap. So there you go. So let's see what a shotgun turret takes exactly. Yeah, so it takes the... Oh, it doesn't take the stock. Okay, so in order to make the shotgun turret, you absolutely need the long barrel, but it doesn't take the stock. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Alrighty then. Um, it's sort of, why is hunting rifle under resources? Because it's a gun part, I guess? I'd prefer it to be under guns, personally, but... Um, okay, yeah, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's head There's to the next trader. Up the road. You can try loot. Shut up. Why didn't you loot it? You too good to loot Shamway? Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. Alright, guys. Um, where will the next trader be? Um, so we got one over here, and we got one down here. Yeah, right there. Now, I think there's two over here, isn't there? Yeah, let's hit these two. We're going to go to the one in the, um... We're going to go to the one in the snow biome first. All right, I'll see you there. You know, guys, I'm always, like, whenever I'm looking for an item, especially weapons, I'm always thinking big, you know? I'm always like, I want to go into a big town and find a gun store and loot, like, 12 gun stores and get my loot, right? But that is not the proper way to do this. You need to catch all of these little gun safes here. Um, every time you find this building, there's a gun safe in it. So you should stop at these buildings, right? So um, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start being a little bit more meticulous about where I, uh, you know, stop for for gun stores and stuff. I'm also going to loot stuff I probably don't need to loot to get my scavenging skill up. Got a guy outside. Don't really care. Got a guy outside. And I don't really care. Oh, there we go. All right, you. I'm going to go upstairs and get that guy. He's bothering me. For all I know, he could fall on my head, right? I've watched enough zombie movies to know that's a possibility. There we go, level 62. Cool. Suck it, zombie. Okay. Are we good here? I don't know. We're probably good. Alright, let's break into this, and let's break into the safe, and then... Oh, God, I forgot about those. I'm gonna... I, those are so annoying. I might stop breaking those boxes. There's such a... There's always a letdown. Oh, God. 
And that's the infection zombie, too. That's the guy that puts you into stage 2 infection, like, instantly. The hell with that, right? Uh, do I have better? No, I don't. So you go right there. You get scrapped. Uh, you get scrapped. Just so I don't get snuck up on. Why don't we go ahead and put this down. I brought a lot of stuff with me that I did not need to bring on this expedition. But that is okay. I think we're getting, uh, I think we're getting somewhere. We finally got ourselves a shotgun. Uh, before I start losing wellness and hear about it in the comments, I'm going to go ahead and eat. You know. There we go. Gonna drink. I still have one meat stew back at home, so that is nice. We got to check on the farm too. Probably do that today. Oh my god, it's getting late. Damn, I'm not even gonna make it to all the freaking uh, guys today. Shoot. All right. Well. Um. Okay. All right. Well, good shotgun receiver. I mean, look at that. Look at this. Alrighty. Bam. Where'd it go? There it is. Bam. Green shotgun now. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Crap, we got a feral here. <laughs> it's doing some off-camera work there. And I got a feral. Oh, boy. I figured, oh, yeah, this will be, you know, a piece of cake. I'll just, uh, I don't have to record this. I mean, it was still a piece of cake, but, you know, still. Feral. Feral's a feral. Alright. Do the ferals drop better stuff, or is that just, like, it? Because I've yet to see a feral drop anything I cared about. Big Bertha drops better crap than the ferals. Ferals are supposed to be higher hit points and running and be stronger, but... I don't know. Their, their loot doesn't reflect that. That's for damn sure. By the way, I found another one of these buildings. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, these two I don't care about, but that's going to be nice. Because that's going to go into a shotgun turret I'm going to make. Where is my scavenging skill? I should probably look at this later. All right. We got we to gotta work on that, man. We got to loot more stuff. I just hate looting stuff because it just slows me down. You know, I, I want to go. I'm all go, go, go. You know? Like, um, I live in New Jersey, man, and here in Jersey, like, you don't wait for nothing. You go, you get going, or you get honked at. Okay, so I'm thinking of driving, but still, you get the idea. Okay, there we go. Loot that. All right. I'm not going to loot anything else in here. I would like to make it to that next trader before, uh, before the days, uh, before the, um, the night comes upon us, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to work if I keep hitting these, uh, these houses. Um, but you can see right there, there's another house right there. See these things, there's like, there's these, uh, gun safes scattered everywhere, and I need to make sure I hit them more. It's definitely, a, it's definitely an issue that I've been ignoring, and, um, well, I'm gonna rectify that. By the way, this reminds me, um, in order to make a chemistry station, I'm supposed to be grabbing one of these, uh, one of these gas barrels. So, it's nice that I eventually remembered to grab the, uh, the flaming barrel. Not the gas barrel, but the, the flaming barrel. Thank you. God, a customer. Oh yeah, a customer. There's I not too many. Uh, there's not too many customers left in the uh, the zombie apocalypse. I, I definitely need another machete blade. I just don't know when. Oh, I can make those pretty soon, can I? You know what? I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, tool and die set. I actually need a tool and die set. I shouldn't have sold it. Um, I wonder if uh, I can get another one. All right. So he's got everything there. All right. Not really interested. Um, some shotguns. Not bad. These shotguns aren't bad, but what I really need is the barrel. Buying these sawed-off shotguns is kind of a waste because I need the barrel. Um, so I'm going to... Oh, there we go. That's a pretty decent barrel. So basically I'm paying... Ooh, 7700 7, for a barrel and a good stock. It's still a good deal. I need shotgun turrets. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to buy that. Let's look at the rest of his stuff just to see. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I need that too, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I need that. There's no two ways about it. Because I actually got a hunting rifle and I was going to take it apart. And I didn't realize I didn't have the uh, schematic. Okay. That's so much money though for a crappy shotgun. With only two good it's parts. A real pleasure. Mm. You watch yourself out there. 7,000. That, that pretty much... If I buy another one, it pretty much takes me out of... Well, you know what? Who cares? They're shotgun turrets. Think of it that way. Right? Right. Let's see if you... I wonder if these guys have any turrets. No, they don't. Yeah, it's a shotgun turret. Just look at it that way. Okay, fine. I'll buy it. I, I don't like that buy, though. Safe travels. All right, let's hit the next trader and then go home. By the way, I marked this as a, a GS. That GS stands for... um, um. Gun safe. 
So, if I come across any gun safes out in the wild and I don't have time to stop with them, I can at least mark them. Alright, let's try and get to this next one before night time. Although, I don't have enough money to really buy anything now, so... I don't know. I just spent 70... I spent almost 8,000 dukes for two gun parts. And only one of them's needed for the turret. So... But the, the good thing is the other one is going to be good for the actual shotgun that I make, to, that I actually use. Because it's green, so that's nice. And multiple shotgun, multiple of any item is important because instead of r repairing and losing durability, you can combine them. Um, so it's it's, it's, an, it's an okay deal. It's okay. Okay. Well, if you got money, I guess I can stand your smell. No, I'm not spending that on a stock. Uh, shotgun parts. Those are pretty decent. Hmm. Do I want to spend the money on these shotgun parts? No. No, I don't I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Watch yourself, do I only have one barrel? If I only have one barrel... I think I only have one shotgun barrel. I have one in here. And I think... Oh, no, I got one right here. And this one's pretty good. But not, not as good. Oh, that one's actually better. I'll probably use this shotgun barrel for the turret, although I hate using a yellow shotgun barrel for a turret. I'd like to use a crappier one, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? All right, well, I guess we're heading home now. Yeah, we'll, we'll scope out some more gun safes. If I see any more gun safes, I'll, you know, if I feel safe enough, I'll hop off the bike and, and mark them down. And uh, if, if I'm probably going to miss some, just, you know, sorry, but... Um, you know what we need? We need a... Um, uh, a skyscraper that's a gun store. That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, is that the police station? I can always loot the police station. That has um, some guns in it. Well, it should. It doesn't have as much guns as it should, considering it's a police station, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so I don't have to mark the police station. I'll know that has guns in it. Born a noble. Crack a book. Crack a book, I meant. <laughs> All right, let's look around here. I don't know exactly. I think these buildings always have uh, gun safes in them, don't they? Maybe. Always might be a strong word, but it might. Okay, I'm going to want to be somewhat quick in here. I think that's a regular wolf. At least I hope it's a regular wolf. Because if it's a dire wolf... Oh, nice. Decorations! Oh, that's the one I need. The decorations book is the one that allows me to paint the pictures on the, um... On the, uh, chests. Well, I could paint it on anything, but... Yeah, there's a gun in... There's a gun... Gun thingy in here. Oh, God! There's a zombie in there, too. Did not expect that. I was actually looking at my timer. <laughs> Okay, I thought that wolf was on to me. Alright, let's break into this sucker and get home. I don't have room for this, do I? Ah, scrap, scrap. Crap. <laughs> scrap, scrap, crap. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna scrap this because I need more paper. Alright, that should be enough room. Come on, give me something good. Give me some more shotgun barrels. Shotgun barrels is what I really need. Ah, uh, well, actually, it's not too bad, because uh, I can use these two for the um, for the turrets. I can use that for the turrets, too. I've got plenty of parts for the turrets. I just don't have barrels that I would like to use. All right, well, it doesn't matter. We've got a few days before we have to make the turrets. Um, nah, let's go home. I'm not going to press my luck. I don't want running zombies. Yeah, um... Yeah, we, we've got until day 28 or, you know, 27 uh, before we have to make the shotgun, um, the shotgun turrets. So we've got some time. Uh, the thing is, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put them. I mean, the, the obvious spot to put them would be, let's see. All right, so the, the obvious spot to put them would be about right here in a little, like, um, a little, like, bunker thing, you know? Like, uh, here, let me see. Something like this. Here, let's just, uh... 
I don't want to make it too big. You know what I mean? So I could probably put the shotgun turret there on a probably like off the ground on um two reinforced concrete steel pillar things. You know, um, put it up there, and then I could probably I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, what I could do is I could make I could make um plates like reinforced concrete plates and put them all around and then put them up. Well, put put them up the back. And then put on the sides, all three sides pointing this way, um, put, uh, what do you call it, um, iron bars. And the, the zombies have no reason to attack this. They're not going to attack this. I think that's the best idea. The, the only other idea I had was put them up somewhere in here. But then if the zombie, like, runs right at the door, the, the shotgun turret can't hit it. Um, the thing is with this, with a shotgun turret here, it's got full range at the door. There is going to be no zombies on that door, like, at all. Um, the only thing I don't like about it up here is it's going to be shooting at zombies over here and over here. And I don't think I like that that much. Um, I would prefer to, sh I would prefer the shotguns, the, the shotguns to be only on things at the door. Maybe I could, maybe I could put one right here and one right here. I'm going to probably remove these dart traps, by the way, once I get the shotgun turrets. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Kind of what I'm thinking about. So, um, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments. What do you think? Maybe put, a, maybe put a shotgun on this side, a shotgun turret on this side. Maybe I could put a shotgun turret, like, right up here somewhere. Um, maybe pointing down. I could probably put it on an angle pointing down. All that, it's kind of stupid looking. I, I know it would be effective, but it looks kind of stupid. Or should I just have a little pillar out here pointing towards the door? Uh, pillar right here. Pillar right here pointing towards the door. If any zombies go for the door. I could even put them on a switch. So where the shotgun turrets are off at all times. But if, if zombies start beating on my doors, I flip the switch and they just start lighting up the zombies at the door. That could work. That could work. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I think this is a pretty productive video. I am going to call this one here. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.